personal injury questions, you can put them in the pipeline. If you give us a jingle at one 206 number is right down here. Give us a shout and we'll pose them to Terry Swanson of the Bryant Law Center in Paducah and Louisville. And here we go with question number one. We have uh, Jacinda who says, I was hit by a big truck, totaled my car, sent me to the hospital. Now the truck's insurance company is saying, hey, this was partly your fault meaning Jacinda's fault, and uh, now they won't pay anything. So uh, that doesn't seem right. Can uh, she still recover anything for her uh, loss? The short answer, Dave, is yes. Um, in Kentucky, we have what's called comparative fault. So just because, you know, you partially are at fault does not mean that you completely lose any claim that you might have. Um, it's going to be apportioned based on, you know, the percentage of fault that you are at. So sometimes we'll hear stories like, well, I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Um, so is that going to affect my claim, for example? So you're at fault for not wearing your seatbelt, yes. But, you know, if you broke your ankle and that seatbelt wasn't going to protect you from breaking your ankle, then that shouldn't affect your claim that much. Now, if, you know, you hit your head and the seatbelt could have protected you from that, then you're going to be partially at fault there. But again, that doesn't completely preclude you from making any claim. If the other car still ran a red light, um, you said this was a big truck, if they, you know, cut you off going down the interstate, whatever it may be, um, then they could still be partially at fault. So you definitely want to get in touch with a lawyer about that and see, you know, what type of um, percentages you're looking at there. But no, it should not completely preclude your claim. Keith says, I was driving down the interstate next to a big truck. It blew a tire and part of the pieces of the tire came over and knocked out the, win the window on my car. I'd like to be able to recover some damages from this, but who's at fault? The trucker, the trucking company, or the company that made the tires? That is a super fact detailed question that um, I can't really answer just, you know, black and white yes or no right here. Um, that typical lawyer answer that everyone hates, it depends. Um, if the trucking company and or the driver, depending on, you know, what that contractual relationship is like, if they failed to maintain their tires, if it, that tire needed to have been replaced, you know, 100,000 miles ago and they were driving on um, the wire anyway, then yeah, you could pass, have a claim against the driver or um, the company, again, depending on their contractual relationship and who was supposed to be maintaining that. Um, now, if the, def the tire was defective in the way it was made, then you could have a claim against the manufacturer. That's one of those things that, again, until you look at that tire and get somebody to inspect it, it's going to be hard to say. Now, if you, it just cracked your windshield and you didn't have any other um, damages, especially any physical injury, something like that, you start to run into an issue of, is it really going to be worth it to pursue um, litigation against these people over just a cracked windshield? It's going to cost you more than you're going to get out of it. It's basically the short of it. But you're, you can report that to your own insurance as well, and they should cover a cracked windshield. And just like that, we are just about out of time for segment number one. But good news for you is that Kevin Shannon will be in. He'll be in the hot seat for Brian Law Center, taking your personal injury questions on the other side of the break at one 208 So we'll say Happy New Year and adios to Terrace, and we'll say hello to Kevin on the other side. Stay with us. More Legal Line coming up.